Welcome everyone, Ed here with Michelle, and today we are in Columbus, Ohio, outside of the last remaining York Steakhouse. It's been a long time, Michelle. We're talking over 30 years since the last time I've been to a York Steakhouse. And Same here with me too, late 70s. But are you ready? Let's get in there and enjoy the last remaining York Steakhouse. Bon appetit everyone, see you inside. They got the honey glazed chicken, half chicken, dark meat and white meat, eleven forty nine, all wheat, fifteen ninety nine. It's more than a steakhouse, Michelle. It's they got spaghetti. they got the chicken tenders over here. It's independently owned. It's not affiliated. I mean, it is the last remaining York Steakhouse, but Columbus was the original city where the original York Steakhouse was opened in nineteen sixty six. And then it was taken over by General Mills, and then they sold it off in 1989, and that's when it really started to deteriorate. Now this is it, this is the last one. Sirloin steak, ribeye, 1899. York fillets, 1959. The prices have definitely gone up since the 1970s. But what else is new, right, Michelle? That's okay. <laughs> All right, so have you got a, a, an idea what you're... Oh, they have the salad bar, too. All right. That's what I'm excited about, All right. too. All right, I'll see you guys at the counter when we make our order. My dad was a big believer in the chopped steak, and they still have it because he liked it because it was easy to chew. But I'm probably going to go with the ribeye, and Michelle was talking about getting the sirloin tips. So you place your order at the counter... And then you, I think they, like they did before, they put a number on your tray and then they bring the steak out to you. And, and fresh baked pies they make. Nice. Ooh, whole pumpkin pie. Love For $10.99, all right. It's just like I remember they have the girl taking your order and you get your tray and your knives and your forks and your spoons. Yeah, if you buy them separately, then it's pretty cool. This. Okay, the salad bar is not a salad bar as much as it is a salad station where you help yourself to one plate, one trip, and that's it. So you make sure you get what you want, so, because there is no going back. <laughs> the salad, the cucumber, the tomatoes, the green peas, broccoli, green onions, and the cheeses and the dressings. Looking good. Station is a serve it yourself area. Coca Cola for me, and then they have the oh, sweet nice tea for Michelle. Awesome. There's the salad. Thank you, Michelle. Ooh, they have uh, rotisserie chicken here too, Michelle. We didn't get that though. We both got. She got the um, sirloin tips. And I ended up getting the ribeye, but that looks really good. I don't really just remember chicken being part of the menu in the I old days. The yeah, but chicken is definitely a thing here now. And you pay for it over there, and I'll see you guys at the table. You gotta love this dining room. It's nice and wide open, very spacious, and comfortable. Thank you for a dirty day, but thank you. There's Michelle's there. We're gonna rotate this around, Michelle. Like that. Because your salad is over there. And what do they say? They bring the steak out to us? Michelle? They didn't say it. Oh, okay. I guess that they will though, right? Alright. The salad is crispy and cold? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Let's get a closer look at what you got there, Michelle. I got green peas, tomatoes, cheese, carrots, croutons, cucumbers. And what kind of dressing did you put on there? Safari Ranch. Very nice. And I'm pretty simple. I have the tomatoes with the lettuce, cucumbers, some cheddar cheese, and some ranch dressing on top with the croutons. 
Let's try some of the salad here. It's a very finely chopped. I like that. It's not it's not big pieces. Mm. The cold is cold and the hot hopefully will be hot. <laughs> All right. My memories of York Steakhouse go back to the 70s before there was ground round at Shoregate Shopping Center in Wilwick, Ohio. There was York Steakhouse. And I only was there like a few times, but uh, we used to play baseball in the field, and which was right near the, the place. And if we would hit, I bet you there's a few baseballs on top of the building because our home run area was just before the York Steakhouse. And if you hit the ball over the bushes, usually it went over the building too and landed on top. But it's a lot like this, York Steakhouse. It, it, it's amazing how much similar this building is to the old ground round York Steakhouse in Shoregate Shopping Center in Willowick, Ohio. Cool stuff here in Columbus, Ohio. If you guys ever out this way, I strongly recommend checking out the York Steakhouse, the last one in all of America. Okay, our food came out and I ended up getting the ribeye and Michelle ended up going with the sirloin tips with the baked, loaded baked potato. She's even got broccoli in that oh, too. So, and I got actually it loaded this time around. Yeah. <laughs> And she's loading up that bread too with a lot of butter too. Mm -hmm. It is. I don't Sunday. think I got any butter with mine. I may have to borrow one of yours, Michelle. That's why I grabbed it. But yeah, I just I took a little piece. I ordered my steak medium, and I'm I'm you know trying to give you some light on that. But that's more well done than it is medium. But that's okay. I mean, let's try it anyway. My dad would love this because he always got his steak well done. And it's got a little bit of gristle in it. You may need to definitely cut that out of there. Riley would have liked that. <laughs> let's try one of your sirloin tips, Michelle. Well, she didn't even let you look at it. Well. Juicy and tender. I can't see it. Was it done the way you wanted it, you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. And the fries. Michelle went with the baked potato. And I went with the steak fries. That was good. And I will bring you guys back when I'm ready to try the bread over here. Okay, we got the butter on the bread, and let's give it a shot. Mm. It's kind of like a little warm on the inside. I love that, like that. The bread is good. Mm. That's a highlight so far, the bread. How you doing over there, Michelle? Good? I caught her at a bad time. Let's try another piece of that. That french fry over there. Oh yeah. Okay, Michelle's gonna give her potato a try. Slowly, Michelle. Okay, there you go, give it a shot. That cheese is piping hot, but it's good. It's really good. Makes up for Ponderosa when they didn't load up my potato last time. Yeah. Well, one that really doesn't have anything to do with the other, but I, I understand what you're saying. You shouldn't, you know, you can't allow what happened to you at an other restaurant to mm. cloud your judgment when you go to another Oh, place. no way. I never oh. had a broccoli on my potato, like only at Wendy's. I'm going back to this bread over here. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, as I get further into the steak, it was more medium as you get closer to the center. That outer piece that I had earlier was definitely done a little bit more than the rest of the steak. But it is turning out to be a good 
a good meal so far. I'm, I'm happy. The York Steakhouse in Columbus, Ohio. Okay, Michelle, what did you think of the York Steakhouse here in Columbus, Ohio? It was really good. And the one thing that I liked the best about the whole meal, besides going on a road trip with you, was the baked potato. And you're probably saying, why do I like baked potatoes? Obvious reason. It didn't have salt on the skin. That is a big thing for me. I hate salt on baked potatoes. When you don't have to add it, it adds nothing to me except yeah. pudgier hands and body. It's so true. And um, I thought that it was really good. You know, once you get used to the... Um, but the one piece of, you know, the, I had the ribeye and the outer part of it was kind of done a little bit more than medium. But as I got further into it, it was good. The salad was fresh. Cold. And it was well maintained. And it, I felt like I was in a time loop over here in the back in the old days of York Steakhouse at, at, in Willowick, Ohio. You know, all I needed to do is some, play some baseball afterwards or whatever. This is but, a yeah. nostalgic restaurant. I yeah. think this is really a good idea to come yeah. to. And I'm glad we came. York Steakhouse yeah. brings back memories. Absolutely. Well, you guys, thanks for watching our review of York Steakhouse in Columbus, Ohio. It was worth the trip out here. And if you know of any other restaurant that is rare and hard to find, let me know in the comments because we'll try to get out there and do a review of it. Stay safe, and we're going to probably head over to the casino next. So thanks, you guys. I love you. Stay safe. Have a great indoors day. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Another good hit with the buffalo. You already got a major bonus, Michelle? Holy cow. It's $10. Good job.